More than 40 million people are hitting the road and taking to the skies for the unofficial start of summer. Air travel is set to exceed pre-pandemic levels this Memorial Day weekend, so passengers should be ready for some packed airports. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live from JFK with more on what travelers can expect today. Hi, John. Yeah, good morning, Chris and Mary. Well, while the uh, summer season, you know, the summer travel season really officially kicks off this weekend already, though, airports across the country, including right here at JFK, are seeing a surge of travelers today and tomorrow are expected to be the busiest. Cancellation and delay rates were at unacceptable proportions last year and it's important that that not happen again. A stern message from the U.S. Transportation Secretary to airlines across America. Be ready for anything. This coming weekend we're expecting to see levels we haven't seen since before the pandemic. FAA is projecting more than 51,000 flights on Thursday alone. Last year staffing issues caused meltdowns at airports across the country and during the holidays specifically with Southwest lack of employees and weather issues led to a stunning amount of passengers stranded. But this year, the U.S. Transportation Department is collaborating with airlines to reduce congestion. And if things do go wrong, pressure them to improve customer service. TSA officials saying they'll be good to go. What's different this year from last year? This year, a big difference is we have more staff. I mean, we're, we're better staffed this year than we were last year. According to AAA, there will be a 7% increase in overall travel this weekend compared to last year. And to think about last year, how busy it was because of the uh, staffing shortages that airlines had and people starting to come out of the pandemic. More than 42 million Americans are expected to travel 50 miles or more from home. Three and a half million of them will take to the skies. It's United cool. Airlines CEO Scott Kirby expects this weekend to be the busiest in more than a decade. Air traffic control uh, challenges are, are really the number one concern uh, for me as we head into the summer. While most travelers will be driving to their destinations, car travel is still expected to be down slightly from pre-pandemic levels, with gas prices higher than 2019 levels, but still much lower now than this time last year. Now, if you're going to be traveling by car to your destination this weekend, experts, they do say the best time to travel is today and tomorrow before 12 noon or before 1 o'clock because between 3 and 6 p.m. today and tomorrow, well, they're expecting a lot of traffic. Gridlock traffic is how they're phrasing it. For now, we are live this morning from JFK Airport. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you for